it depends on which perspective you look at it from. A legal perspective, we need to consider were there any particular defences that the bank robber could raise? Perhaps he was hallucinating at the time, perhaps he was under the influence of drugs or drink, or perhaps he did it for a, a motivation of pure altruism. He wasn't trying to uh, keep the money for himself, he really did intend to give it to the orphanage. Um, and all of these can affect the way that the law would deal with that issue. If there was a defence to the crime in that situation, or perhaps the uh, bank robber was not mentally fit at the time to stand trial, then, then no criminal punishment would, would uh, would follow. However, if the uh, bank robber in his right mind did uh, rob the bank and give it to the uh, orphanage, that in itself isn't a reason uh, from a legal perspective for the bank robber to uh, escape punishment. But even in that context, the judge might, if deciding that uh, when the jury decides that the, the bank robber is guilty of the crime, they might take some of the motivations of the bank robber into account possibly in terms of mitigation. But the interesting thing about the jury system in the United Kingdom, in English law certainly, is that the jury's decision is final. So if for whatever reason the jury decide that despite the facts of the case that the defendant should not be found guilty, then the judge has to accept that verdict. And this happened in a quite an interesting case in the 1980s where a group of peace campaigners broke into a uh, armaments factory in the United Kingdom and destroyed a fighter jet, a Hawk fighter jet. Now they knew that the, the Hawk fighter jet was going to be sent to Indonesia to be used by the Indonesian government to uh, oppress the population of a region called East Timor. So the, the women broke into the uh, factory with some hammers, smashed up a Hawk fighter jet and left a video of themselves in the cockpit so the police would know who did it. They argued that they weren't guilty of a crime, that they had a, a, a justification for committing the crime, which they argue was necessity, that by um, destroying the plane, other people would uh, have their lives saved. They wouldn't suffer being bombarded by the, the military aircraft. Now, from a particular legal point, the legal point on that was that that isn't a defence to a, a crime. Necessity couldn't be a defence to criminal damage. However, and here's the interesting thing, the jury took a very sympathetic attitude to what the peace campaigners had done and they refused to convict them. So there you have a good example of how the uh, legal process and what people's moral intuitions are about a particular outcome coincide. So despite legally the uh, defendant should have been found guilty in that situation, the jury took a decision that the law shouldn't apply to them in that, in that position and they were, uh, they were freed. So that could be the same thing that happens to our bank robber, who knows.